Good evening to all those who are participating virtually. I've been extremely fortunate to have been to Israel five times over the past seven years. One of the times was in the summer of 2018 with our very own Federation. What a fabulous trip it was. I can't wait to get back for another visit. Please God, hopefully soon. Each time I visit Israel, I am struck by the sight of 18, 19, and 20 year olds donning the IDF uniforms as if that's such a normal thing. Yet, as an American, it is anything but normal. Without exception, every single person I have traveled to Israel with takes notice of the difference between an American college-aged kid and an Israeli college-aged kid. We all have great admiration and are in awe of every IDF soldier for their commitment and dedication and for the responsibility that comes with it, especially at such a young age. I wanna share with you one of the most amazing stories I've ever heard. There was a young man who attended a yeshiva in Jerusalem where he spent his days immersed studying the Torah, the Talmud, and various Jewish texts. One day, he approached the dean of the yeshiva, one of the great and revered sages of the previous generation, Rabbi Shlomo Zalman Arbach. And he asked if he could take some time off from his studies to travel to the north, the Tzacha region, as we're all very familiar with, to pray at the graves of the righteous. Rabbi Arbach's response was jaw-dropping. He responded, you need to travel to the north to pray at the graves of the righteous? When I feel the need to pray at the graves of the righteous, you know where I go? I go to Mount Herzl. And I pray at the graves of the holy soldiers who fell in the sanctification of the divine name of the Almighty. This story encapsulates the very essence of Yom HaZikaron. In conclusion, as we commemorate Yom HaZikaron, the day of remembrance, we must be mindful, grateful, remember and honor all of the fallen IDF soldiers that gave their lives, their blood, sweat, and tears to help defend the Jewish people and the state of Israel. May their memories be for a blessing.